Tonight, we have for you a brand new True Stories. Yes, it's a special edition of True Stories Radio. We out here live in the ATL, the land of the strip clubs. I've already got them lined up in my mind already. I'm going out there. But now we're in a so icy headquarters right now. We got the Mr. The Mr. Say the tra- make the trap say hey, pardon me. Yes, sir. What's going on? You got the whole world just chilling. chilling. Just chilling, man. You know, trying to stay alive right now. OJ the juice, man. My nigga, you on fire right now. I appreciate that. I, appreciate I, that. I, I was on my way getting some toothpaste, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I went into some some food mart place. And, and you know, right next to the naked women boxing, I see the new <laughs> that's serious. <laughs> They're selling bootlegs. I'm like this. Because yeah. in New York, that shit is dead. They don't yeah. they don't sell that no more. Yeah. I, I see OJ the Juice Man right next to Nipsey Hustle yeah. on a double XL freshman cover. Mm. She's looking extra crispy. They added the extra gloss and mm. high def, man. How, how, how did that come about? How you feeling about that, boss, oh, man? man that, that was real good, though. They came to the management, you know what I'm saying? The management uh, put it together. Did the coops with uh, double XL. I flew up to New York. When I got there, they really didn't give me no scoops on what I was going up there for. They just said, so shoot for the photo shoot for double xl and i got up there and seen what it was you know what i'm saying it was a beautiful thing get to meet all the new artists that's coming out they've been out for a minute working their mix take grind staying continuous with their hustle you know what i'm saying it was a blessing me all along so you didn't know you was gonna be on the cover did- no nah, i was just told it was a photo shoot that was gonna be in for the double xl and when i got up there it was uh they were like for a cover for a freshman you know what i'm saying and like what, what went through your mind when you found that out that you're gonna be on the cover it's like like, all right, double XL, you fly out there. Because, you know, a lot of cats want to be on that cover. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's like my third cover of the double XL. So I've been on the front of them things a couple of times. And I appreciate them working with me and coming to me. Let me be an issue of the uh, participant in what they're doing. Because, you know, a lot of cats is like, yo, but he got his big record. He's already doing it. Why he need to be on the cover? What you say when cats say that already? I mean, I guess it's the grind, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You can't really can't sleep on a, on something that they're making a lot of noise for too long. You can't sleep with noise. So have you trademarked or hey? Have you done that yet? Yeah, you, I mean, you know, that's already stamped in the official. I, <laughs> I, that'd be all the way, you know. How, how did you come up with that? That's your uh, joint? Yeah, that's, nah, that's me. I'm hey, just Juice Man. Oldie William Jr. made that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fucking around in the studio. I was uh, actually when doing it as high pitched at first. And then um, as it as it time kept going, you know what I'm saying, folk like, boy, the ad little hard. I just kept going with it, and it coming out more high pitch. And then I was doing it more consist- consistently than I was at first. At first, I do it every here and there, but now I just do it consistently. But sometimes, you know, I read the critics; they be crying like, "You man, you put too many A's in it." So different songs I play with it. When you say make the trap say hey, was you living that lifestyle? I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I you know, the- myself, but hey, mm-hmm. I wrote it for some kind of reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And how, how did that song come about? You know, um, you sitting as they told the house. Uh, Goot had uh, well, Gucci he had already did a song, and then we were just going through some beats trying to keep the process going. Cause when we go to a studio, we do like three to four to five songs a night. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Depending on what time we get in there. And um, Zay was uh, Zay Tobin that is I call him Zay He was playing some beats And um, I picked that Make the trap Say hey I wrote the hook Probably like two minutes Three minutes on the verse Gucci did his verse Two minutes And uh, man We was out of here What's the vibe When, when your song comes on And there's that you know, I'm hearing reggae cats remixing your joint, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's uh, my dude Dapper up there. Dapper Flex, yeah, we know him. You're yeah, from I, my hood. Yeah, I fuck with Dapper. That's my man's up there. When I go up to New York, Dapper fuck with me. Come pick me up from the airport, <laughs> like, drive me around, show me the ropes and everything up there. I know, because we. I remember when he played it for us, we was up there at the radio station. He's like, make that trap set. Hey. He's just yeah. going off. He's like, mm-hmm. he's bouncing mm-hmm. his dress. Black you know, Bush, hey. Yeah, mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. Talk, talk about your city Because we out here We enjoying the situation We only been out here For a few hours or So we just got yeah. Fresh off the highway Okay So like, give a, give somebody A tour guide of the ATL 
I mean, you know, to me, I can't really explain, like, because I, I live this every day, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they got the club life, they got the script club life, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, where we from, we sit in the street all day. We don't really, really too tough go out. And we do go out, we go into a studio session, but I can't speak for everybody else, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it is a fun time in and out. It just ain't all about sitting up being bored like we bored. But when you come here, you do have a good time, depending on where you go and where you kick it. But um, my life, you know what I'm saying? I really don't do all that clubbing and stuff no more. I'm just hey, really trying to make a dollar, man. Because you know what I'm saying? Bills go on. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Like, because, you know, the, your general Gucci, you know, they got him up, hemmed up for a situation. When's the last time you spoke to him? Or have, or have you visited him and things like that? No, nah, you know, I don't really go to no county doing no visiting, trying to even go and put myself in the prison of a prison cell or jail cell. But we talk on the phone, you know what I'm saying? That's the main man right there, the big homie, you know what I'm saying? He'll be out in a minute. I really can't get no due date because he ain't told me to really keep my head up, trying to let the day pass and all. That's about it. Because you know right now, your, your, your other partner, your boy um, Walker, they be giving him a lot of flack about the lyrics thing, you know what I'm saying? What's your take on that, man? Um, shit, I mean, I don't know, you know, I didn't come in the game saying I'm the heaviest lyricism rapper of the, of, of the world in a way, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I come in with OJ the Jew, man. I can't really speak in vouch for nobody else. I just spit what I can spit, you know what I'm saying? Some might like it, some might hate it. It's on you to give and take. Yeah, so when you make your song, it's based off your vibe. You try, you try to put your content into it. Is what you saying? I mean, you know, yeah. I just do me. I don't mm-hmm. go in the studio thinking of, oh, what this critic don't say. Let me try to change it up. Cause I know the first time I change up, it, it, all my fans gonna run away. I rather lose one fan than twenty. When people will get, be critical about you, you know, you saying you said, hey, if, like you said. If you're not making noise, you ain't, you know no. For real, like I appreciate that critic. Like I read that shit down there every day. My sister say don't do it, but it helped me elevate my mind to where I see where people coming from and see how they respect me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But you know, internet, you can never show face. You just show name. So you can be whoever you want to be. You can be president on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So I just read every comment and give and take. Plus I go on other artists' shit just to see what was said about them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To see if they get. The same criticism too You know what I'm saying I just really work the game though Yeah you already know The business This your boy OJ the Jew man Tesco shout out Somebody shout out Boulder Chris shout out in the building man Pockets like a chef Caesar salad man It is green man Walking around with celery In my front and back pocket dog You already know the building Rocking like cut off stocking man Hey, I'm booming I'm banking I'm serving all the Okay Rap game easy But the poor game great Young Jew man And my life is like the J Fruity, crazy sweat, jumping in your face, but never don't share it. Interior like the 